artists and welcome to Mia's Inktober. Day one, the prompt was gargoyle, so here I am drawing my cute little gargoyle. The prompt on day two was scurry. I thought of a mouse when I thought of scurry and I didn't want to just draw a mouse so I drew a city street with a little mouse on the road. The prompt on day three was bat, so I drew a bat, but he was looking over a baseball field. Because when I think of bat, I think of the animal, but also a baseball bat, so I wanted to like incorporate the two into one drawing. The prompt on day four was scallop. I didn't really know what a scallop was, but I found out it was a shell. And even though like finding pearls in a scallop is really rare, I still drew a pearl in the scallop because I didn't want to like just draw a shell because I thought that was boring. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite pages out of all of them. I think it's super pretty. <laughs> The prompt on day five was flame. I did like uh, flames in the shape of a heart. Uh, this one's really cool. I think it's also one of my favorites out of all of the ones. <laughs> The prompt on day six was bouquet. I didn't want to like just draw a bouquet. So I did like one of those like bouquets in the brown like paper. Cause I think those are really pretty, but I did just kind of draw a bouquet, but I added a little twist to it.
So the prompt on day seven was trip. I actually, for some reason, thought it was travel. So that's what I did, but it works just as well. Um, I did some like bags in like an airport with a map behind. Um, this one I didn't really like as I was making it, but actually it is like one of my favorites and I think it's really cool now, so yeah. So prompt for day eight was match. So I did some matching puzzle pieces, but the patterns on them are mismatch. Uh, kind of bending the prompt, but I think it's a cool idea. So on this day I was behind, so I drew two drawings in one day. Um, here I'm drawing a nest for day nine. There's the nest. Um, I guess I didn't get a final uh, picture of the puzzle pieces, but that's okay. Um, day 10, uh, the prompt was crabby, so I drew a crab with a crabby face. So yeah, this is also one of my favorites. I don't know why, it's just really cool. <laughs> Okie dokie, so the prompt on day 11 was eagle, so I did an eagle in front of the American flag, because when you search up a picture of an eagle, like, I feel like that's one of the things that come up, is like an eagle in front of the American flag, so I did that, um, not the right amount of stars or stripes, but, uh, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so the prompt on day 12 was forget. So I did something that people do to not forget is tying a red ribbon around their finger. So that's what I drew. Uh, really simple. Um, yeah, I don't know if people actually do this anymore, but like I thought it was a cool idea. Okay, so the next couple days after this, we, I was actually camping, so I didn't get timeless videos, but this one's kindness, a man holding an umbrella over a dog. This one's empty, so I just did an empty box. Uh, armadillo, so I drew an armadillo. And then, oh my gosh, this one's so bad, but it was foul, so I drew a bird. Uh, salty, so I drew uh, salt, <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie, so day 18 was scrape. Uh, I didn't want to draw like an actual scrape, like if you scrape your knee. So I did a tree in the forest that had like, I don't know, like a bear or some sort of monster that like scraped their claws into the tree. So that's what I did. Okay, so day 19 was ponytail. I had struggles. I'm not very good at drawing like people or hair or anything. So I just started off drawing hair. And then as you see, I'm gonna add color to the hair. And then um, it just kept getting more wrong and wrong. But I did a gray shirt again, added color to the hair. And then um, coming up, you'll see I added headphones. I don't know why. I just thought it would like change it. Uh, they were not even, they were smeared, the shapes were different. I was really scared I was gonna ruin it. Then I just finished those off, added little colorful music notes and it actually doesn't look bad. Day 20, the prompt was bluff. Um, I had really no idea what to do here. So I did a little face, like an emoji face behind um, a bunch of playing cards, Uno cards, um, making like, cause like bluffing, like trying to make people not believe what cards you have. I don't know, but I drew this and I like it. I think it's cute. <laughs> So day 21, the prompt was bad dog. Um, I didn't really know what to draw, so I did actually a really cute puppy with a little sign over its head saying bad dog for sale, just kind of 
misleading sign is basically what I drew. But uh, I really like the dog on this page and I tried to do the brakes in the background. They were okay, but I think this page is cute. I like the little dog. <laughs> So day 22, the prompt was heist. So I did kind of the aftermath of a heist. I did a bag of money behind some bars that have a little chain on them. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is like the aftermath or before the heist happened, but yeah, I don't know, but I like it. Day 23, the prompt was booger. I did not want to draw a booger. Um, I don't know how I would draw a booger. I don't even know. So I just drew a box of tissues and I'm okay with it. And it's actually a cute box of tissues. So yeah. Day 24, the prompt was fairy. Um, again, human anatomy is not my jam. I'm not good at it, so uh, I just tried to draw a fairy and make it look okay. Um, I didn't do the face. I'm terrible at faces, so I did the back of the head, and I did hair. The legs are okay. Uh, they could have been worse. Um, I just think this is like a really simple idea, and it's cute. It like turns out good, so yeah. Day 25 was tempting. I didn't know what to draw besides like food that we would want to eat. So I did another little dog who's looking up onto the counter or the table. Um, and there's a little bone there that he wants. And this is one of my favorites. Again, I, it's like super cute. I love how I drew the dog and his little facial expression. But yeah, one of my favorites. <laughs> Day 26, the prompt was ego. Don't know why I have like, I don't have any footage, but I did a little person in a little bubble with a crown on and it has like the good words inside the bubble and the bad words outside the bubble, just to keep your good ego. Um, and then day 27 was snacks. So I did like a little picnic and there's juice box and chips on a plate. And then there's a little um, checkered blanket underneath and just some grass in the background. Yeah, simple. camping which is kind of funny because i was just camping a couple days ago but uh i just did like a a campsite scene with a lake a fire a tent some footprints or like paw prints uh trees mountain range just kind of camping i followed the prompt directly <laughs> Day 29, the prompt was uh-oh. Um, you know those movies where they're on a boat and they get into the storm and it's like the worst thing. They're like, it's like super crazy and hectic and dangerous. So that's what I did. I did a little sailboat uh, going into a storm. Cause that's kind of like, uh-oh, a big storm, you know? I don't know, but it is one of my favorites and I really like it. <laughs> the second to last day the prompt was gear um i had a good envision in my head for this but i don't think i executed it very well i didn't really know what to do oh long pause okay that's awkward anyways um yeah it's okay i wanted to do like steampunk kind of thing and i think it was looking okay but then when i started coloring it i just didn't have enough colors to make it look not I think it still looks good, but it's just not how I envisioned it, but it's okay. 
day 31 the prompt was farm i did like a spooky farm um yeah i like this one this one's fun good way to end the inktober series <laughs> is all for today hope you enjoyed um now that i have completely finished inktober this entire sketchbook is completely finished so if you want to flip through let me know um yeah so we'll see you all next time bye